Hello and welcome to the Lacuna Festival's catalogue launch um, for Metamorphosis 2023. I'm really pleased that this year we have had a volunteer guest editor in Armando Rotundi um, and I am going to hand straight over to Armando to introduce himself and tell you a little bit about the process of the catalogue. Hello, my name is Armando Rotondi and uh, I am a professor of performance theory uh, at the Institute of Art Barcelona. I am very happy to be part of this festival, Lacuna Festival for 2023 in, the, uh, in this wonderful edition called Metamorphosis. I already participated in previous edition of the Lacuna Festival uh, and um, I'm very happy to be here also for this edition that uh, for me is related to a very interesting, wonderful topic that can be explored in many different ways. Uh, I apologize if I cannot be uh, at the festival uh, personally, but I am here now in Prague and for this I would like to have this uh, background with me, even if the lights are not so great at the moment, because at the moment I'm in Prague in uh, in a theatre, the Vadlo X10 for the Prague Biennale, where uh, tomorrow we are going to uh, premiere here um, a play that I adapted from Karel Czapek, a very important uh, Czech playwright, uh, that is a mix between uh, human performers and, uh, and robotics. And it's a project that I'm developing as a director, writers, and also performers. So, Physically, I have to be here to perform together with Guy Baramos. It is a stunning uh, fine artist and director working with robotic mask and all the visual aspects of the project. I was very uh, happy to uh, be involved, not only as an artist, but also as a, uh, as a volunteer, as a member of the crew, uh, editing and creating the catalog of 2023 uh, edition. It was a very hard work because there were many artists, all talented artists, and it was very important that all these artists, they had the right, uh, let's say, credit in terms of visibility in this kind of, ca in this catalog. Um, was also quite important because all the artists that they have a specific way of interpreting the main topic of metamorphosis with their own specific art, uh, paintings, um, sculpture, uh, mixed media, but also something that is not necessarily related to visual art, uh, such as performance, poetry, um, installation that had the component of uh, script and the performative elements also interact. For me, in creating the catalog was very important to uh, try to represent all these different souls of the festival and all the different souls of the artist. That in a way is a metamorphosis itself because we can change the topic of the metamorphosis according to the different kind of art. The festival was about metamorphosis and all the pieces presented this metamorphosis. And it's interesting because metamorphosis can be considered in two ways, a little bit like in induction consider adaptation, is a process and is an output. So what does it mean metamorphosis? Is the final product that is about metamorphosis, is the content or is the creative process or even the interaction with the audience? Because if you want to move an audience from a moment to another one, already this is a metamorphosis. It can be many different things. What I really found fasc fascinating also was the fact that the artists in the catalog were from really all over the world. So it was also a way for me, as an editor of the work of the catalog, to discover in depth the works of colleagues, the works of artists, that they carry on like tradition, they change tradition, they have legacy, they have style that are completely different from each other, 
but with uh, this element of uniqueness of being part of the metamorphosis themselves because being an artist means in a way changing something uh, we would like to change the world we would like to change perception we would like to play with the perception we would like to work in a playful way with uh, our spectator our visitors our general audience we want to change an emotion so the element of metamorphosis is always there uh, and i have to say that as an editor uh, i really enjoyed this work to creating this catalog because uh, having a background uh, also in comparative literature in comparative studies uh, the theme of metamorphosis appears almost everywhere let's say without the almost is everywhere in all kind of literature in all kind of history of folklore of culture so it's really a common theme that is present in all the culture in a syncretic way so it belongs to the soul of the human being and was very important to uh, see how all these artists were uh, discussing and investigating this uh, this work as i said there were different um, moment uh, different art piece and uh, i think was quite uh, in at the beginning difficult to think how to uh, give uh, the right space to uh, pieces that were not necessarily visual so to create something that was very balanced for me between the visual works and the works that were more for example script based but keeping this balance among the different pages among the different pages to uh, have a catalog that was also pleasant and beautiful to have in to, to scroll to read and so on Well, it was a very hard work because, as I said, the number of artists is very high and I'm very happy that there are so many uh, people in this festival. Uh, and I really hope that all of you, you will enjoy the, the catalogue and you enjoy the festival. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you so much, Armando, for your time and effort and energy and the thought that's gone into the design and editing of the Metamorphosis 2023 catalogue. We really appreciate it. And also um, listening to your behind the scenes information in this interview, it's been really great. So thank you for that. Artists, you can now view the full Metamorphosis 2023 catalogue on our website. I will pop the, the link to that down here somewhere, um, just in case you can't remember what it is. And you will also be able to own your own PDF copy of this. Details about how you can do this will be in your next newsletter, so keep your eyes peeled on your email inbox for all of the details. Thank you so much for watching this launch. Head over to the website and take a look.